Hey folks, that fix a guy here. And today it's raining as you can tell. And we're gonna be looking at this dripping hose bib. Okay, so what's going on is a friend of mine asked me to come over and check this out because they had a plumber come. And one of the things the plumber said was, a real plumber is not gonna fix this problem. He's just gonna go ahead and replace it. Well, I guess I'm not a real plumber. Okay, I'm a YouTube plumber apparently. It's like somebody calling themselves an expert. It's just, an expert in what, man? It's plumbing, you're always constantly learning. You're evolving. I mean, you're a homeowner. You're probably looking at this video thinking, okay, well, hey, he's gonna teach me how to do this. And I am, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna fix it. Why not try to fix it first, right? If you're looking at a 50 cent washer to fix this hose bib drip, well, it's gonna save the customer like, seriously, like $550. Like, why wouldn't we try that? Cause that's the price that that person was gonna roll. And now that's kind of fair for around here, but let's try to actually save a little bit of money here and get this hooked up. So come along, let's get to fixing. Okay, so if you don't have something to kneel on, you should look into one of these things. Just thick rubber foam. Usually I wear knee pads, but I don't have mommy today. And these things are awesome anyway. I'll put a link in the description box. I mean, if you're gonna be on your knees, try to save your knees. They're really important. I wish I would have learned this a little bit later or a little bit earlier in my life. Always with the plumber's crack. So we popped this off and you can see this is actually an aftermarket ball valve to help stop the drip that they've had. So it's probably been dripping for quite some time. They put this on and eventually this started dripping too. We'll come to right here and flathead screwdriver. Hey, this right here comes out probably the easiest I've seen on an old hose bib. Now we just gotta try to get this handle off without breaking it. Boom, popped off, wow. awesome. If you start to turn this and you see this flexing and it's not really that secure, mm -hmm. which you can tell it's not, there's no screws in there. The hole's been cut bigger, it's been siliconed. We're just gonna go ahead, you wanna use a backup. Pair of channel locks. So I'll put a link in the description box for all the tools that I'm using. Um, there's not very many, right? So then we just unscrew this packing nut right there. We'll grab the handle one more time and we'll go ahead and we should be able to just twist that right on out of there. Um, okay. Well, that's come right off. We just now want to be able to get Why do you not want to come out of there? Okay, so after fiddling with this for a minute and it really I can't get it out any further. Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pop some packing off. This appears to just have some some serious packing in it that is preventing it from coming out. Okay, so now that we got all that dug out, there's all that packing is actually sitting in this bowl right here now and just old packing. And so now we're able to take our crescent wrench. We'll, we'll get it to where it was before. Oh, and you can see actually it's coming out now. So check that out. Awesome. Just some old packing stopping this from coming out. I might've been able to twist it, but honestly, I don't really want to break something. So let's go ahead and we'll pop this out of here. And Let's see. Okay. So we're back down in there and I mean, it, 
If you can see it all kind of seems clear there. I want to get my eyes on it and not just the camera. Okay, that looks pretty good. Except I do see a piece of something stuck in there. There actually is, so there actually is something stuck right on, maybe I can try to point this out in the video, but right on the upper part of that, there is something stuck there. So I'm gonna try to get some kind of a wire hanger or something and we'll get this water turned on just a little bit and just try to get that blown out of there. Let's just make sure that this is around the same length as this. No, it's a little bit, actually it's gonna work. It's totally going past the seat, so we're good there. Okay, so the piece that I thought was in there, I don't see anything anymore. Okay, so okay, so we had to run out real quick and grab some valve packing. This is actually Teflon valve packing. They made graphite as well, but we went with Teflon and this will hook us up. We're gonna just end up giving this a few wraps. Once we put this back together, I'll show you in a sec. So you've seen this before, right? Assorted flat bid washers. And we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna swap the washer out on this and then we'll put it back together. This doesn't have a cup on it, but we will see that looks like it's the size that actually is gonna fit in there. Maybe we can go a little bit smaller than that. Um, no, that's it. If you look at that right there, that's the, exact size you can just tell the difference in how thick that is versus that it's definitely worn down been a long time we'll actually put the number side down so you're going to see there's always going to be a size of a washer on there just put that to the downside and get this bad boy screwed in there Bad boy screwed on there. Get that nice and tightened down there and put it back in. Okay, so now we can take this piece, we can go back in here and you see these little nubbies right here. Okay, so you see these little nubbies right here. That is where this brass washer goes and that's just gonna actually set flat on there and then the packing is gonna pack on this side of that and it's gonna allow the the handle to seal okay so we got that all hooked up in there let's get this push back in place all right now because that Now, because that washer is a little bit thick, we're gonna give this like maybe four wraps around there with our packing material, okay? So if you just measure that out, just kinda, you know, one wrap, it's definitely not gonna do it. Actually, maybe just two wraps will do that. And then that'll be good. So just chop that off right there. Am and that's what we're looking at there. Maybe a little over four inches. Take this, just make sure our washer is pushed back in there. Our valve is actually in the off position at the moment. Eh, that's a little bit too much. You can see, I've never had to pack this style of valve, so I don't 100% know what it was gonna 
end up being like there. Um, let's just go a little bit less than that. We'll take about a that much off of there. Let's see what we're looking at. All right. Okay, so once we get that in there, just grab our packing nut here. Make sure that's all cleaned up and good. You're gonna wanna push a little bit to get it started. And once you get it started, you're gonna be good to rock and roll. Now, so we'll take this, we're gonna use the backup wrench on this once again. We're not gonna over tighten this because it is a packing nut and you can still adjust it in a little bit, but we are gonna get a little bit tight. And that's probably pretty good right there. We'll go ahead, grab our handle. We'll open it up, make sure we got some good movement. Close it, get it snug. And we'll go ahead, we will put our handle back on. It's actually nice to see that even this older faucet, this is an old school Nibco. Right, so it's nice that this figure 52 is on here. You could probably take this to the supply house and it might, you might be able to find something for it, but it is pretty old. I don't know that Nibco still makes faucets like this and you probably will have to replace it at some point. So, but I think we've got a good little repair here. Let's go ahead and finish installing this handle and we'll go turn the water back on. We'll go ahead and we will open this bad boy up. Slowly. <laughs> and we'll go ahead and open that bad boy up. We'll get some air out of the line. So it's not turned on a lot, but we got some, we got some water flowing right now. Getting that air out, and now we'll just shut it down. And we'll go turn the water on the rest of the way. So, all right, so here we go. We're good, it works, it turns on. You give it a little bit, it's a frost-free hose bed. The water eventually stops dripping, and we're good to rock and roll here. Okay, folks, a lot drier in here than it is outside, all right? I got soaked doing this job, but it's all hooked up. Like, literally, it costs sense. A little bit of packing and a uh, new washer, and we're hooked up, man. Like, that worked out very well. That was a Nibco, like, frost-free hose beard from the 70s. They said that that place originally built in 79. That's the way it was put in. I Man, I'm really... I feel bad about that too because the hole was cut like crap. It actually wasn't mounted in place. And then they just put some silicone around it. I really hope it was done another time. I don't know. But I do know that that Nibco faucet, it definitely was older. But it still worked. We were able to pull it apart. We were able to hook it up. That's what I like about it. And as far as the plumber saying that real plumbers don't repair things, they replace things. Well, I just don't believe that. I really hope you guys don't believe that either. There are people out there that will help you and will do things and will allow and make a repair and hopefully allow you to limp along a little bit till you can actually afford the replacement if that's what is needed, right? I think this la this personally is going to last a long time. I've put new washers on hose bibs and they last a long time, man. Uh, it's not that uncommon honestly like the lady kind of looked at me and was like that's never gonna last another 40 years or whatever and i was like well i mean maybe it doesn't but I, if you can get another 10 out of it like that's awesome and you start saving a little bit of money now well by the time it comes 
time to replace it. If that's what you choose to do, then you'll be hooked up and you have the cash saved. I really hope you guys liked the video. I hope that the video helped. If you guys could please subscribe to the channel, click the like button. We'd love to have you keep coming back. Thank you very much and we'll see you again real soon.